Cyril Ramaphosa may have insisted over the weekend that he will not resign, but the South African president still faces a parliamentary vote Tuesday that could lead to his impeachment. On Monday, Ramaphosa arrived at the venue where top leaders of South Africa's ruling ANC party gathered to discuss his fate. We had an NEC last week Friday which could not uh, conclude on its business. There was a, a request that uh, the fuller complement of the NEC should sit, including the president. The National Working Committee made a determination that looking at the issues that will be discussed and the request made by the president, that uh, consistent with practice, it is only fair that we recuse the president. So once he has delivered this political overview, we then allowed the president to leave the Working Committee. <laughs> There appears to be a majority back in the president despite deep divisions inside the ANC party, which has a comfortable majority in parliament. You know that we have people who are willing to collapse this country, who are out in numbers, in particular state capture beneficiaries. Last week's report said President Ramaphosa may have committed serious violations and misconduct over what has become known as the Palapala affair. My clarion call that Cyril Ramaphosa must go, he cannot be allowed to stay, he is putting the ANC into disrepute. The scandal with its colorful details of more than half a million dollars in cash being hidden under sofa cushions comes at the worst possible time for Ramaphosa. On December 16, he will contest elections for the ANC presidency, a position that also holds the key to staying on as the nation's president.